have limited success, let's say, with dating apps or dating apps like uh, Tinder or Grinder, Grinder or what have you. Uh, let's say you're tired of that scene and you just want someone to cuddle with. Well, there's Bark and Borrow. It's pretty much a matchmaking service if you would like to hang out with a dog. Maybe for a night, maybe for an afternoon. Uh, this would be able to connect people who are dog owners with people who perhaps they aren't allowed to have dogs in their home or they can't have dogs due to a significant other or family member who could be allergic. Um, so this is available now and it seems really cool and it seems to be working pretty well as well. This is adorable. There are so many sharing apps that we have these days, like ride sharing apps, mm -hmm. or, or like there's food and, and the dating apps, but I, I really love this idea of, of like a dog sharing app because I, I, am, I am not the most responsible person in the world <laughs> here. Uh, but I, I love playing with animals. I, I love playing with puppies. I, a puppy is a big responsibility. I, and I understand that. that but but to just be able to be matched up temporarily with one seems like a great idea. And plus, you can like put in all sorts of criteria, like a you know wanted to be good with people, wanted to be good with like children or strangers. Yeah, all you can put in all sorts of criteria. So you get the dog that's right for you. Mm -hmm. And it, basically, the matchmaking service is free. Uh, it does charge. There is a charge for dog sitting. So right. let's say maybe you're a dog owner and you don't want your dog to be in a kennel or you don't really have anyone to take care of them. This would help you um, basically set up and you, you would message back and forth, meet someone in person. It is a lot like dating, uh, but it is for uh, little furry friends, dogs. The uh, only thing that I would like to see different about this app or maybe another app, maybe there is another app that actually does this, mm -hmm. but I would like to see it be used for shelter animals. There is an app called Woxie. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been in beta for several months, and it's in more than 100 shelters across the America, and it, I think it went live oh. recently, somewhat Great. recently in the fall. Uh, there's also a similar service called Borrow My Doggy in Britain and Ireland. It has thousands of users, more than 200,000 Facebook fans. It, t it tends to be operating still. I. They say that they're very careful in checking who would be allowed to use this. So, you know, to make sure no one hurts the dogs or steals the dogs or just something otherwise, you know, traumatic or, or dangerous, uh, which is someone vetting Facebook f profiles, you know, one by one. I hope that works. I sincerely hope that works so I can see where this could go wrong. Right, you don't want anybody to dog nap your dog. Or you don't want any, you know, every so and often you hear about some crazy person who's hurting animals or hurting people's right. pets. Well, well, apparently so far it's been working out pretty well. They've done a good job of monitoring the candidate's social media and preventing mm -hmm. that sort of behavior. What would happen if the dog got hurt on your watch? Jeez. Yeah, that's a lot to think about. I hope it works, Bo. I can see that there are many issues with this. Audience, would you use this to borrow a dog or maybe have someone else watch over your own dog? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.